What is up everyone? This is episode 5 of Mars Horizon. On the last episode, we had finished off on phase 1 of the Venus getting our Venus trajectory set. And so the next phase will not be until the next 3 months. And we have a few requests that we can look at. We don't currently have any space. We are building our third mission control so we can have up to 3 missions finally start the crude moon landing if we get a mission slot available. Currently we do not have the ability to do that. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to go to the next event. Our budget review is now here. We didn't get enough to get to the next tier, but that's okay. Saturn 2 is now finished researching. We have ability to, ability to research all these now as well. Or we can finish these four and lock additional contractors, which could be useful, but don't necessarily mean they will. Let's see, for missions, would it be better to do start researching more missions? we research all of these we get 20 minus 20 percent payload build time which the time really doesn't matter a whole lot so it's not a big reason to do that so I think what we're gonna do is go for the commercial satellite just so we can get a bunch of money and because we also need that to go to the next era. Well, actually, we're already in that era, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. But, we've already done that now, so. Request for lunar radiation. Already done lunar orbit. Now, the next thing we'll need to do is a lunar moon landing. You can see, that's our rocket in transition to Venus. control our Venus impactor for the next phase of the landing. And there we go. Our job is to collect two comms, two data, and two navigation. With a bonus we get one more in comms, one more in data, but we need two more for navigation. So we're going to start out with the comms and data and the navigation. And that'll put us more than halfway and we still have four turns remaining. We do need to watch this keep below five. Because depending upon the level of each you'll have different factors so for this factor we have heat factoring in and at the end of each turn heat's going to be added so we do need to watch that we just have to keep it below five it shouldn't be that hard to do and now the last thing to do we got to ping our location and then two heat will be added so we'll have four so still below five So to reduce heat, we'll have to use one of these. Can we do this a second one as well? And then after that we can use the navigation since we'll have four extra and since we have we'll have two at the end of this round and we'll get to it should be enough to get to the bonus before we get to the five we are good for a little realignment and the 
fly over course. It's close. But it's, a, it's okay. Close doesn't matter. We didn't get it. We didn't get hit there. Alright, so we have two key. So to get to the next, we'll need one more comms and two more data. So if we use that and that, that should easily put us over. We'll have two power left. It's okay, we got what we needed. So long as you get to your bonus before the end, it won't add the negative effects at the end to it. Ooh, building research costs for six months are now minus 25%. So we have a new Spacepedia article we can read later. We do have a request for lunar radiation and moon micrometeorites. I think now we're going to go ahead and select the crewed moon landing as our next mission. You can either do that or the Venus orbit, but I think it would be more advantageous for us to go ahead and do the crewed moon, moon landing. For this mission, it'll be good to spend just a little bit more money to get the higher power, just in case we need it. It is going to run us 810,000. That's okay. We're still re researching our commercial satellite, but since buildings are minus 25%, I think we will change our research to get some buildings. Not that we necessarily need them right now, but since it costs less, it'll be better. If we want, we can get the tier two astronauts now. After that is done. Venus Vit. Venusian vacation. They wrote about our impact or mission and the temperatures that it soared up to. It gives us an extra 100 support. And our mission control expansion is now complete and our Mars flyby is ready for launch. We can only hope for a good launch window here. We are at 80%, so if we could get up to another 10% for a launch, because this looks like a really clear day, it would be very good. May of 1965. Problem is, I think if we reschedule a launch, I'm not sure if there's another one nearby. Five, so gonna go four, four, three, two, one. One. Ooh, cross your fingers. We have liftoff. Successful liftoff. Looks like a good launch. And we are go. And we even had a positive event, so we get plus one data on the first task in the mission. Boosted the levels for both of those. Time to communicate with our Mars flyby module. 
So we need three navigation and three thrust. We're gonna lose one thrust every time, so it's best just to go ahead and get our navigation out of the way before we need anything else. And we'll need two comms to buy the th four thrust. So we're gonna go ahead and get all that out of the way. Four, we do have a 4% chance of a negative outcome per turn. Ooh, and the signal is going to was four so close to actually getting the balls. You don't really need it, but it wouldn't hurt. Nah, you can see. It had a static burst. A solar flare caused static, overwhelming our transmission. And it will cost an additional one unless we spend one power to resist it. I say we resist it because we kind of need, I think we, we need the data to buy other things, which is okay. So we have the two that we need to be able to get the bonus for that. We're going to need five here, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Hope we don't have a negative event. We don't have anything to go against it. Oh, that's good, though. But it's good. So we really only needed one. We only, really only needed one more navigation. But so when because we need two of these to be able to get the bonus of these. So. And that'll put us at the bonus, and we'll still have one turn remaining if we need to. And you don't have to use all your turns, because you don't need... Whatever you don't use does not roll over to the next turn. So you don't need to use every turn in a task, or... Yeah, you don't need to use every turn, because whatever you have does not roll over to the next task or phase, I should say, in the mission. And phase one of our Mars transfer trajectory is a go with a bonus. So if we go and look at our base, our third mission control it's done being built, which means we can do a third mission. So we could plan for these the Venus orbit. Or can we do Mars orbit now? No, we have not unlocked Mars orbit yet. So we can go ahead and do Venus orbit. Expensive, but we do have we are running just a little high on money right now. It's not a bad thing, but because we had the extra money, we're going to have to get the Mariner 8. We're going to go ahead and wait for the next event. And our research lab is now complete. We still have a minus 25% cost for three months. we can get the large launch pad so I will say we're gonna go ahead and do the vehicle assembly building and we're gonna go ahead and go to our base and build the research ro or robotics research lab we can't build it there we could build it here doesn't give us any bonus 
best place to probably put it would be here because we get plus 10 science per month and another 2% reward for missions. So we're going to go ahead and put it there. It's going to cost more to get it there because there's obstructions in it, but you'll pay that now. So we have a little bit of extra money. And actually, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that obstruction. There it is. And that. And that. And that. just because it's cheaper. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all the... We'll just do everything. So now our island is completely clear of any obstructions that we could have in the future. Do we have a request mission for a control systems check that could provide a lot of money? Does cost 750,000. It only reduces vehicle build time, which isn't a real necessity. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on it and get it out of the way and go to our research. We still have a minus 25% cost for two months. So we might as well research one of these. We will go with the neutral buoyancy lab for now. So we don't have any missions that requires a large launch pad just yet. In the last month, there. And our crewed moon landing payload is complete. And our Venus orbit payload is also complete. It actually may not have been a good idea to spend all that money because it's about to cost a little bit of money to build these components. So we're going to go ahead with the Saturn 2 because it provides a 7% higher launch reliability. We don't currently have the Saturn 4 research, which means we'll have to research that next, which is good because our research just ended. It's going to cost us 300 should check. What happens if we select the Saturn 4? Is there another? This could reduce our cost by a lot. It doesn't reduce our launch reliability by a whole lot. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Confirm it. We still need to research that part though. have on the base that we can build. Vehicle assembly building. And the neutral buoyancy lab. We don't really need to build a neutral buoyancy lab just yet. We need to spend the money first on our rockets. It's not a whole lot of money difference. 130,000. Well I guess it is a lot of money but it's only 5% difference there. So we're just going to leave it. 81%. Can we get the launch reliability just a bit higher? We don't currently have the money to build this, but because we just spent it all. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for the next one. Research that. Don't have the money to build the crew moon landing. finish the mission commercial satellite, but it's not a necessity at the moment. We are already into era 3 there. We're not yet. Well, we've also into era 3 here, and also in the era 3, era 3 here. We don't we definitely don't really need the tier 3 astronauts yet. Even though we don't really need the tier 2 ones. Cost 3,000. I think we're going to go ahead and finish off these extra two just to get the two additional contractors because you never know if you need them. I don't want to 
build that yet because we'd rather go ahead and do the moon landing first. Delta K is finished. Booster Saturn 5 V. And we have jumped up to the next tier, which means our monthly allowance is 420,000 per month. Saturn 5 is completed, which unlocks us two additional contractors. And the Mars flyby is ready for its next phase. I think we're going to go back to the commercial satellite. For this, we're going to head. We still don't have the money for that, so we're going to just go ahead to the next phase of the Mars flyby. The Mars flyby module, so we need to obtain scientific data. So we need at least two comms, two data, and one navigation. So that gets us our two comms, this gets us our two data, that gets us our one navigation that we need, and also puts us into our bonus for our navigation. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. <laughs> Antenna alignment is good. Visual data. Oh, close on the board. We are good there. And lastly, our ping our location. And so now what we need is one comms and two data to get us into our bonus reward but we're running a little low on power this will get us our one comms and two data but then okay so that should oh it still puts us short oh yeah because we need not we need one comms and two data not two comms and one data So if we go here, that'll put us over, which gives us an extra one here to spend. And that'll put us at what we need. Telemetry transfer. Let's go. We're moving on to the magnetic field analysis. Clear. of atmospheric entry from Mars is good. And we're going to go ahead and start off going to the next month. Ooh, Mars magazine is clearing Mars is dead. So we commit to the Mars orbit mission. Can't we don't really want to fund the PR campaign. Or a counter campaign to drum up support. What do we want to do? We'll fund the counter campaign. Commercial satellite is complete, so we're going to go ahead and set the next research for... What do we want to do? Do we want a space station, Mars lander, make money, because we need this payload? Yeah, we'll go ahead and select the payload, go to our base. We don't want to build the neutral buoyancy lab. We don't really care for tier two. What matters is if we can get tier three later. We don't want to waste the money on building a tier two if we just want tier three astronauts. 
And for that, we are going to go ahead and sign off on episode 5. I appreciate y'all tuning in for Mars Horizon. I'll catch you next time on episode 6. Buzzcore. We've gone to space. We've gone to Venus. We've sent... We've sent rockets to Mars as well. So we'll catch you next time.